Malakit. Malakit? Malakit. How you guys pronounce it? Malakit is the way I'm pronounce it for the rest of this wonderful episode. If you guys feel I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, leave a comment down below. I think it's Malakit. You guys let me know, of course, in the comments. All right, guys, that's right. The new card this week in the second week of the War of the Nine Realms. It's now Malakit will be an on reveal. Add a one, two, or three cost card from your deck here and it reveals at the end of the game. So a lot of people are talking about this card's gonna be okay. Or some people are like, yo, hazmat's gonna be the best thing for it. Nonetheless, we'll dive into that card and it's awesome card list on the Marvel Snapcast podcast. I'll leave a playlist down below so you guys can go ahead and hit that bell button so you guys get notified when the newest episode of the podcast is uploaded. Now, if you're here for the first time, you don't know who I am, I'm Ken, AKA the Super Tech God, AKA the Super Variant God. Why? Because we have every variant in the game and of course, I'm here to bring you guys what is coming up in the following week of Marvel Snap new variants. And this one right here is part of the wonderful spotlight cast. So he will be the new card. You can get him with tokens. You can either get him with, of course, keys. And this is a spotlight variant that will be in the shop. Now it looks pretty cool. Kind of giving me a guitar in the hand, but realize it's a dagger. I love the electricity. Hopefully we see that moving around. We click on the animated piece of it. And it looks like, yes, the electricity is popping out of the card, breaking the frame, looking real good. Love the background, love the waves. It's giving me that wonderful vibe, like the card is alive. Cannot wait to get this variant. Shout out to the artist, Andrea, for putting this wonderful card in the spotlight. Then it looks like we have a star takeover from uh, Mr. Riccardi here and uh, starts with this Juggernaut, which is 1200 gold rare pool. Um, it's part of the Trippy Surfer album or super rare. It's used in the album, but it is super rare, 1200 gold. It looks cool. I love the art style on this Juggernaut, robbing a bank that's on fire and money is burning. I mean, this, this definitely looks interesting. I wonder what it looks like anime. Maybe the money will be levitating, right? We, we could assume that. Uh, maybe the flames moving. The money is levitating again out of the border. This is pretty cool. I mean, they have really nailed the wonderful graphics of the cars when they get animated, moving it out of the border, I think. Great job, second dinner on this. And the artist, of course, looks pretty cool. Cannot wait to get it. Then we continue with this wonderful, super rare, trippy surfer um, art from Mr. Riccardi of Killmonger. Now, he doesn't have a tail, no. Looks like something back there. I'm not sure if that'd be part of, oh, like a staff or something. But he has a gun, he has a katana. Love the hair. I love the art style here, guys. It's pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like animated. Um, hopefully we see the background doing something cool with this pink color. It is doing something cool. And we do see kind of what this is back here behind him. We see the leaves moving. He's definitely in Wakanda or right outside of it. Um, looks pretty cool. Cannot wait to get this variant. Then we go to this amazing card that is used to this day in many lists like surfer lists, right? So it makes sense with Killmonger and Juggernaut. So it makes sense those cards are part of that album. Um, again, super rare pool and uh, <coughs> wow. We gotta see the gold stuff moving around. Yeah, there it is guys. This art style is so awesome. Like I really have to look up this artist and see what kind of prints they have. I'm really feeling this different type of art, like the colors are kind of woven into each other. It's pretty sick. I love this Nova variant. Pretty cool. Can't wait to get it. Then we have Okoye. Now Okoye is phenomenal. As you guys know, again, in Wakanda, it looks like she got her wonderful staff ready to go ham. I love the, the way Okoye just gets shit done. Sorry for saying the S word. Nonetheless, check out the wonderful bangles. Check out the art. Uh, we got to see this moving. It's going to be super awesome. Cannot wait. Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love it. I love the art style again. Mr. Riccardi. Hands down. Great stuff. Cannot wait to get all these variants and put some amazing looking borders on them. And yeah, I think I don't even want to ink or go these, right? I want to keep the color the way they are. Just change the border around them. So I cannot wait for that. Then we have the awesome Polaris. She's in the meadow right now and all the Scream decks. Love this art style again. I'm going to say it throughout all of the cards that we look at today from Mr. Riccardi. And the bullets are supposed to be going away from her like she's pushing them back. It looks pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like animated. I'm sure it'll be levitating and the colors in the background is just going to, yeah. Again, this looks, this might look great with a neon green border or even a, a green cosmic border. Um, no gold, no ink, just keep the color. If you want to add some crackle, maybe some, some flare or stardust, nonetheless, wow, 
wow, wow, wow. Cannot wait to get this. And then we go to Forge. Um, Forge is still great, especially in a wonderful surfer list too as well. And wow, look at all the colors in here. Like this is pretty sick animated. We got to see the light coming from the the guns or beams, whatever these are. Yeah, we see the animation from there. We see the animation out here, the energy. Um, we see the background moving. We see the hair, the bandana moving around the background, the colors through his, um, you know, um, robotic leg. Everything here looks pretty cool. Sick, sick variant. Then we get to Sebastian Shaw. 100% needs to be in a surfer deck. No, well, he's in other decks too, but hands down, surfer deck is where he belongs. This might be the best Sebastian Shaw variant out there. A look at what he's holding in his hand, the energy coming off of his hand. And yes, the animation predicted so perfectly. Um, I love how the hair looks. Love that face of his, the background, giving the energy like the Phoenix force kind of. And wow, 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 wow. Phenomenal looking variant. <laughs> then we go to my girl, Sarah. Um, somebody asked on the stream the other night, what's the best card in Marvel Snap? And I said, hand down, it has to be Sarah. Um, Sarah is a phenomenal card. I think she is the best card in Marvel Snap. You guys can leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think is the best card in Marvel Snap. And I will gift the winner a wonderful gold bundle. So do me a favor, guys. That's right down below. Let me know what you think is the best card in Marvel Snap and why. And I will gift you that wonderful gold bundle bundle now this sarah looks flawless love the sarah love the art style let's see what we got here now with the animation going on we see the hand the fire on the hand we see the background we see everything moving around like it's supposed to be it's like she's somewhere probably asgard or somewhere i don't know but either way the colors oh my gosh this this is so good cannot wait to get this this definitely goes with a, a gold or neon yellow border or we'll dive into that when the card comes out and of course we go to the man himself, the Silver Surfer in that wonderful album. So he won't be 1200 gold. You will have to get him within the album after you get those other cards. And wow, look at this. Um, we gotta see his hands glowing, the background. Yeah, oh my gosh, this, this, <laughs> you know, this, this art style remind me of Pink Floyd and all those cool um, type of music from back in the day. I mean, I'm sure if I'm not going to say it on the screen, but if they're, you know, taking whatever and listening to the music and watching these cards animated, be on a whole nother level. And of course, we keep things going with the three cost cards in the surfer deck. And this is Nakia. Now, wow, I like everything about this. Um, can't wait to see the electricity background. I'm sure she's in Wakanda. Yes. Look at the colors just flow through the art, flow through her from her. Um, the rings in her hand, the bangles in her hand, the armor, outfit, the background moving. This is hands down phenomenal. Cannot wait to get these earrings. And you can't have surfer without abs, man. Um, this abs man looks super awesome as well. Love the whole, you know, look of it. Let's see what it looks like animated. I'm sure the colors through the ball, paws, the chain. Yeah, look at that levitating. The, the wonderful bricks that he probably smashed through to escape prison, it looks like. Maybe he was locked up in Wakanda, who knows, right? This is pretty awesome, I love this variant. Yeah, these variants are cool. Mr. Riccardi, great job, buddy. And then we have the Brood, which is a staple in the Surfer decks. If you guys are here for the first time, haven't played Snap, you don't know what Brood is, he definitely belongs in a Surfer deck. Now, of course, let's see what it looks like. Animated, oh, you see the extra Brood here. The green colors, it still looks creepy. I love the colors in here. Like I said, these this is a very great art style. I'm very happy to see this new artist in Marvel Snap and other artists come to Marvel Snap. But this is pretty cool to have a whole card list of these cards, especially Surfer, which I think is still a strong card list. Um, it's pretty good. So for those people just diving into Snap and like, hey, you know, I wanna get these cards. When the shop takeover happens, you pick up these cards, you have you a Surfer deck, you can go ballistic and you know, compete with all the best people out there. And then last of this wonderful Mr. Ricardi art goes to America Chavez. I spoke about her the other day. So I missed the old Chavez and the craziness she used to do by thinning out the deck. And that's what they feel the new card that's coming out this week will be doing as well. Let's see what it looks like animated. And I'm sure we see the stars. Oh, yeah, look at the star. The star automatically changed and got neon colors on it, the neon blue. So this can go with some awesome borders. Love the hair, love the jacket, love the color through everything. It looks like stars are shooting or highlighting off of her. 
awesome American Chavez. It just, you know, we don't play her as much, but this is gonna be a cool pairing. Then we go to 138 Game Art Studio, dropping this wonderful Dracula variant. Look like Dracula's standing over, it looks like Iron Man's helmet. Uh, let's see what it looks like animated. Looks pretty cool, love the bats, love everything going on here in the background. Not sure if this was the artist or the studio that um, Second Dinner was, wasn't aware was making um, AI art and kind of either, um, you know, put, some, put a statement out basically saying they're gonna cut ties with them or they're gonna make sure that they're not giving them um, AI generated art. Either way, not sure if it's them, but this will be part of a bundle called the Bloody Mary Enthusiast. Let's see what it looks like for 50 bucks. Wow, for Dracula. I don't know. I don't know. Variant's okay. I mean, the, the tokens make sense, right? The 3,000 tokens, 350 credit, 3,500 credits, um, the avatar, maybe not. But the two things here make sense for the $50. I mean, if you don't have Dracula, I totally get that too. I mean, it is a part of the meta right now, running with scorn, etc. But the variant's not that phenomenal to pay 50 bucks. Nonetheless, you don't have to worry about that now because the wonderful vault is around. And if you're not like me and have every variant so you don't get a vault, you can just wait. And when the vault shows up, you might have this wonderful variant in there for 2,400 go. So it's really up to you on that level. I mean, maybe, maybe guys, do I skip a variant? Do I do it? Do I finally do it? I skip a variant, don't have every variant in the game and wait for the collector's vault so I can feel special and have an actual collector's vault. You know what? I would like you guys to let me know down below in the comments. The, the, the more votes we get, I will do that. Okay, so you guys have until this comes out, which should be a Tuesday, right? So the day after this recording, or either way, you guys have to tell me down below, should I pick up this bundle or should I let it go and wait for it to show up in my collector's vault. And then we have Art Tree Studio putting out this Athena card. Um, part of Spotlight Cash, you guys know again, this card is phenomenal. If you did not pick up Athena, I highly recommend using your keys to try and get um, the new card. But of course, if you get Athena, you will not be upset. Athena is a phenomenal card. So, wow, this variant is gonna be pretty cool. Let's see, it looks like animated. All right. Okay, out the border, all the gold surrounding her, the background with the electricity, pretty amazing looking card. I'm super pumped. I can't wait to get this variant. And alongside the new card, and of course, the uh, Athena is Valentina. Now this card is super cool as well, especially if you're looking to get a six cost um, with you know um, negative two cost, and of course, negative three power with it. Um, but of course you have Luke Cage, that fixes that problem. And I think this is a phenomenal card. I mean, I like Valentina, so you won't be upset as well if you use your keys on her. And this is part of the MCU one. So I know if you haven't seen it yet, check out the Thunderbolts um, trailer, or if you saw the last Wakanda Forever, um, definitely check that out as well. She's in that. And I believe she was also in the, um, the Captain Falcon Winter Soldier series on Disney Plus. So definitely check it out. Awesome MCU Valentina. Cannot wait to get this here. Then we have Tony Moyes. Blue Marble. This Blue Marble looks super awesome. I uh, love this Blue Marble. Part of a bundle called Feeling Blue for 30 bucks, 3,500 credits, 1,200 gold. Now this makes more sense. I don't mind getting this bundle. It looks pretty cool. I love this variant. Uh, let's see what it looks like animated. You guys know the story behind Blue Marble. He is one of the, the gentlemen that got Infinite to be able to walk around on planet Earth because Infinite was such a big entity that him trying to step foot on earth will probably destroy it right so the fact that they were able to blue marvel was able to build that outfit that you see infinite in so you can walk on earth is pretty awesome now the animation of this is not working so you know just talking to see if i can get it to pop up before uh, but nonetheless let's guess what it looks like go back old school we definitely gonna see the the cape moving around the cowl everything we're gonna see the blue light right here we're gonna see the moon doing something maybe even the sky and we're gonna see the energy on his fist animated as well can i wait to get this and i will pick up this blue marvel bundle then next we have scarlet witch now this scarlet witch looks pretty cool super rare 1200 gold from the artist ben harvey let's see what it looks like animated we see some animals in the background and we also see some venom it looks like a symbiote 
Um, it looks like that octopus from Marvel's Capcom 2 is here as well. Um, it looks pretty cool. I wonder when that's going to come into the game, right? I wonder what that ability would be. Um, if you guys did see the uh, Doctor Strange film, that that monster, which I believe wasn't the same monster from Marvel's Capcom, unless it was an octopus. She did control it to try to get America Chavez. So pretty cool looking variant. Love the hair, love the art style of this and the energy. Uh, Scarlet Witch is still a great card, 2-3, so super rare pool, 1200 gold. It's going to be pretty sick. Then, of course, the star of the show, a Victor Farrow variant of the one and only Malekit of Malekit. Um, check it out. Like I said, you guys let me know how I pronounce it right or wrong. The animation for, Ma for Malekit should be pretty cool. Um, we should see stuff happening in the background, which we do see. We see the little hair moving. Um, you know, it's a very basic um, looking type of animation with this card. The art looks cool, but it definitely has that basic animation feel. And I believe it's kind of in, in line with the Frigga um, variant that we saw that I think everybody loves. So pretty cool, pretty awesome. Can't wait to get it. Then Tony Moy again back with She-Hulk this time. Um, She-Hulk, pretty cool. I love this. This <laughs> looks pretty awesome. Um, she's breaking through something. Yeah, the glass is shattering. The hair is moving. The watercolor art style looks pretty cool. Um, it's going to be 700 gold, guys. So again, this is going to be awesome. If you have those caches saved up, here's your time to get this awesome She-Hulk. Then we go to Ronin. Now this Ronin looks like the MCU version of Ronin. Love this. Ronin has come back now in this meta. We've seen Ronin a lot, especially with Misery and other cards as well. Definitely like this wonderful looking variant. Shout out to the artist Alberto Dalago. Uh, for 20 bucks again this makes sense love this definitely we're picking this one up um let's see what it looks like animated shall we i believe we're gonna see the electricity going here so let's see yep the electricity is coming out of it i love it rolling the accuser see his eyes glowing see the green and everything going around his armor and his cape moving in the background in the cosmos pretty sick variant cannot wait to get it then the last card of the week the last variant goes to tony moore again and this time it is the one and only medusa now again 700 goals from the rare pool pretty awesome we got to see the hair moving around right we got to see that got to see the light shining off of it the orange color yeah pretty sick i love it she's touching her hair touching her hair all you see is hair her eyes is closed it looks like yeah medusa Pretty sick variant. Cannot wait to get this. 700 gold. Like I said, if you got cash is saved up, go ahead and pick that up. This concludes this awesome episode of variants for this great week. We do have some awesome variants coming out. Cannot wait to see these and get these and collect them, of course. Again, for you guys to get a gold pass, you're going to have to let me know down below what you think is the best card in Marvel Snap. I think it's Sarah. You guys let me know. I'll pick a winner and gift them the gold pass. Now, also, leave me a comment down below. I really want to know, should I pick up that wonderful variant for 50 bucks, that bundle of Dracula? Um, if you guys say do not get it, guess what? Your collector, the man with every variant in the game, will not pick up that bundle. If you guys say no tech, you need to get it, you need to pick it up, then I will get it. All right, guys, thanks again for hanging out. As always, I appreciate you guys. You're here for the first time. You like the content. Please do me a favor, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell to be notified about these and other wonderful things happening on this channel. And of course, if you're here always and always come back, thank you again, guys. I really appreciate it. Until next time, keep collecting these variants and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Tyron is hosting their very first Fortnite tournament, and with the new remix chapter 2, this is the perfect time to bring it to you. This is going to be a trios based tournament, so get your friends and get the grinding because you gotta be platinum ranked to get in. Why? Because there's prizes to be won. First place team is gonna get 5,000 V-Bucks each, second place team 1,000 V-Bucks each. The tournament will be held and reload zero builds. So the action should be crazy with all the respawning going down. So get your team registered on the official Platinum Power Discord for more information and details as they arise. When is the tournament, you ask? On Monday, November 25th at 4 p.m. Eastern, hosted by your man, man Smooth Up and Gaming with Flash X. Spots will be limited, so hurry up and get on in, because I can't wait for the Platinum Power Tournament to begin. <laughs> ah, let's get it on!